Jesus explained that the call would require not only the privilege of standing in front of people, but also suffering and sacrifice. Words that were not, are not very popular. You don't get a big crowd if you announce that you're going to teach on suffering. Matthew 20, 17 through 22 are very interesting scriptures. Now Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, and on the way he took the twelve aside and said to them, We are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and they will condemn him to death, and will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. And on the third day he will raise, be raised again to life. So Jesus knew what was going to happen to him when he went to Jerusalem. But he knew what he had come to do, and it was part of his responsibility to go through whatever he needed to go through in order to be able to do it. Then the mother of Zebedee, Zebedee then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus. She heard what he said. She came to Jesus with her sons and kneeling down in front of him, ask a favor of him. Can you do me a favor? Well, what is it that you want, Jesus said. Grant that one of these two sons of mine might sit on your right hand and the other on your left when you come into your kingdom. And here's what Jesus said. I love this. You don't know what you're asking for. <laughs> wow. So many times we ask for things and we wonder why we didn't get them, but God actually did us a favor not giving it to us because we really weren't ready to be responsible for it yet. It's not just about getting something. Everything that you get comes with a responsibility. Even if you pray for a bigger house, it comes with more responsibility. The house payment's going to be more. It's going to take more to clean it. There's going to be more things that will break down because you now have the bigger house. And so a lot of times we ask for things that we don't really want to take care of, and we should take care of everything that we have. Jesus said, you don't know what you're asking for. And listen to this. He said, can you drink the cup that I am about to drink? And he was talking about the cup of suffering. He was saying, if I were to give you those positions, you wouldn't just get the position. You'd also have to do some sacrificing and there would be some suffering if you're going to do that. Respond to the ability that God has placed in you or to the opportunity that God has put in front of you. With every privilege comes a corresponding responsibility. I want you to get that. With every privilege comes a corresponding responsibility. So let's just say you're praying for a promotion at work. Well, don't pray for the promotion if you're not ready to take the extra responsibility. Everybody wants to be the boss. But really, there's a lot more to it than just having your name on a door somewhere. When you're the boss, you can never make one decision that everybody's going to agree with. Being the boss is not always the most popular thing going on. I think it takes courage to be a leader. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.